Hello, everyone. Helen Yu here um, at IBM Text Exchange. It's beautiful here, a little windy. Uh, I'm here with Gustavo Perez, who is the founder and CEO of NDS Cognitive Labs here. We're going to talk about um, a scalable AI deployment. Gustavo, so nice to meet you. Hi, Helen. Very nice to be with you today. Yeah, so before we dive into our topic, tell us more about yourself and uh, about NDS Cognitive Labs. Of course. Uh, well, uh, my name is Gustavo Perez, and I'm the founder and CEO of NDS Cognitive Labs. Um, I have two kids. I love playing tennis. Uh, I'm a tech enthusiast. Uh, besides being an entrepreneur, I, I'm also into academics. Um, and about NDS Cognitive Labs, uh, it's a company I started with my brother. He's also my, my, my partner in this enterprise. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He, I, and it's been a great experience working with my brother in growing a company from, from Mexico and growing it internationally and managing to be an IBM World Partner in focusing in conversational AI mm -hmm. and AI and all the different cloud technologies that are needed for digital transformation. Mm -hmm. So I heard, wow, that's congrats on the success, right? Where you got there are 20,000 professionals there in US, Mexico and Spain. So what makes you unique um, or special for most of our clients? Well, we, we started we started many, many years ago. We started as a staffing company. Yeah. So we had the chance and opportunity to build relationship with a lot of candidates. Many people had come with us, with our global clients or projects and then recruit them and do what we call the build operate transfer, mm -hmm. where we help our clients build a specialty delivery set centers and capabilities around different technologies. Mm. So um, after 2017, yeah. The landscape about technology changed a little when AI started becoming a more commercial. Wow, wow, well, well, <laughs> a lot, a lot. When AI became like a, a really important uh, tool now for companies, mm. so the focus shifted from having and, and getting access to thousands of people to get access to a couple of hundred or a couple of dozens of people that really understand the capabilities of your business and the technology, so you can get it. Because because ten years ago, if you were doing an ERP implementation, maybe you needed a couple hundred people. Yeah. Now migrating it to these interesting generative AI models. In that field for over twenty years, right? So since you are a partner of IBM, you must have seen the trans transformation. So how is it different from the original Watson journey to today's Watson X well, platform? Yeah, it's it's been a, a really interesting journey because. Um, as part of my passion being in academics and a professor and a researcher, mm -hmm. uh, we've been close to AI for many, many years. So let's say the first 10 years we, we were into AI, researching and, and understanding what's more in the academic side. Yeah. But suddenly you find that there are commercial technologies like Watson mm. uh, in its early beginnings and you can start deploying this technology. So it was in 2017 when we deployed our first Watson project to a worldwide bank operations in Mexico. And we started uh, taking care of thousands and then hundreds of thousands of customers every month mm -hmm. through conversational AI capabilities. So it, it helped. Every month? Every month, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because uh, this is a conversational AI platform that uh, mm -hmm. it was in the public website mm -hmm. of a global bank in Mexico. So when COVID uh, came, uh, we, we got almost a million users every month. Wow. Since people couldn't go out to the branch mm -hmm. and the call centers were uh, with very long waiting times, people just went to the website and mm -hmm. found, oh, there's this okay. conversational solution. I want to understand how to unlock my electronic banking or ask for another credit mm -hmm. card and I can do everything. Mm -hmm. So so this been a, suddenly it started pure academic and now we, we were it here into implementing projects with worldwide banks and global retailers and Amazing. Like that. How many clients do you have now or deployed AI? Well, we, we've done over around 80 projects in, in different countries, US, okay. Mexico, Latin America, Europe, yeah. Asia, where um, and we've done it in English, mm. in Spanish, in Portuguese, and some variations in between. Wow. How many languages do you speak, by the way? Well, I speak fluent English and Spanish, a little French. Okay. But, but the, the interesting piece is how you start using leverage the technology. Another thing is that 
as long as you are surrounded by subject matter experts, it can be the part of the language, the part of the process, the part of the business rule. To, to ensure that the policy becomes successful. It makes so, yeah, so much sense to me. You know, I heard in the presentation model or approach, uh, if I were a customer brand new, uh, how do I decide which one? Yes, I try to think very simple. If you're a global yeah. corporation, you want to own your artificial intelligence project. Yeah. If you want to do that, so those kind of clients is like uh, project based. Yeah. You own it, you maintain it, and we can help you out with whatever you want. Okay. The second model might be uh, startups, fintechs, smaller companies that mm -hmm. want to be more nimble in their their infrastructure with their uh, headcount. So it's a model where we 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 own the the platform. We maintain the platform, mm -hmm. but you de decide what are the key performance indicators that, uh, that make it uh, useful to your business. Okay. So, for example, we have uh, a really nice uh, reference case in the IBM Global po uh, Portal called NDS Cognitive Labs and Clip. Clip is a payment company. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a unicorn in Mexico. They're growing very, very fast. So all channels that has to do with uh, conversational AI, whether Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, the website goes through our solution that runs on, on top of Watson first and then Watson X, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. because we, we launched that in 2020. We started with traditional Watson and then dropped Watson. Sounds and, and, then, and, sorry, and the third one is it's a mix in between. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want a piece of the technology, but you don't want to maintain it or you want to develop it up. So those are the three models. Okay, so it's quite flexible. Basically, you have something for everyone who are in need of AI point. And you know, you know the current lay of land of AI deployment. Ninety-eight percent of companies have experimented generative AI today, but only twenty-six percent are victims of violation of the Well, um, one of the value created propositions we have as a company as a team yeah. is that we help our clients first understand what are the use cases that mm -hmm. they will benefit the most from. Okay. Because many times when, when when all this craziness about generative AI and AI came, yeah. all CEOs and corporations said, okay, let's start. <laughs> Do something. I don't want to be disrupted. Do something right now. Oh. And they just were running, no stop projects and mm -hmm. did whatever they could. So um, I think it's really important to really understand what is the use case you're going to use, mm -hmm. what kind of data, how do you uh, measure the success? How do you measure the success? So yeah. we, in part of, of the second model I explained is that we we, we are an embedded software uh, reseller and dependent software. And we have already prepackaged all the best components of different mm -hmm. IBM technology yeah. to be able to deliver it in a few weeks. Uh, we have most of the times a proof of concept. Yeah. And so during the proof of concept, we help our clients on the consulting side because now, if you don't, if you only have the technology side but not the consulting side, it might become a very different, uh, strong pro uh, problem to mm -hmm. deliver mm -hmm. because you might understand the hardware but, but and, and the cloud, but not the problem. Yeah. So consulting is very important, and then the technical background is very important. Yeah. If you mix these two and you engage with the proper process owner, VPs, actual. Users of the technology, this is the best way to succeed in this kind of things. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, I'm working with CIOs, CTOs, navigating through the transformation. Currently. One of the biggest concerns is lack of talent, right? Lack of internal talent. So, having a service partner, reliable service partner to guide them through the journey is really, really critical. You know, we really appreciate what you do, but the other Top of mind concern is about governance control. Right? Speaking of that, can you elaborate how you help customers ensure the data you put it in there are secure, and then we don't just let AI agent or robot to perform everything on our behalf without that governance. Yes, of course. Well, since we've started many of our projects in banking and financial services, we dedicate a lot of time. Not take 
client data and take it to the cloud and just to process it in some component. You know, you need to make sure we encrypt, we mask, we separate and segregate client information from what, what doesn't need to be uh, going to, to the cloud for NLP, for OCR, for all kinds of different technologies. You, you might want to them to be very protected. So the, the good side is this technology uh, help us to reduce a lot of time in implementing. So we will use all this time to work with our clients to make sure we understand confidentiality, integrity, availability of this information, how to keep that. We design the solution on top of these constraints to make sure we're, and, and many times it ends up being uh, hybrid models or okay. running on premise, mm. not going to the cloud for some of these things. Uh, but first, you need to do the due diligence and understanding uh, what kind of data you use. It's good to have a partner who knows or been there, done that, right? To really guide you through. So, what's next? What well, are you most excited about? What's coming? Well, we, we're really excited that these new technologies, all these Watson X family and all these uh, hybrid clouds and automation portfolio with IBM, help us uh, implement more projects in, in less time. Mm -hmm. And create more value to the to the companies, to the clients, to the partners we're working with. So now we're we're continuing packaging. Mm -hmm. um, in, for example, uh, all the use cases related to customer onboarding, all the machine learning capabilities for pricing. So we're we're putting together bundles because many times how companies procure these things is based on their internal problems, not on how a company or a partner defines its technology portfolio. Connecting with the client, making sure we, we, we help them solve their problems, you know, sell better, reduce costs, make better decisions. And technology nowadays can help you do this in very, very few ways. So so that was next, you know, deploying more projects in all, all, all the countries we operate. And we're really happy for, for our option. Awesome. Me too. Thanks so much for sharing that with me today. And I look forward to seeing you at any event. Hopefully to uh, catch up with you again next year. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Helen.